going on everyone welcome back to another swift tutorial in today's video we're going to take a look at how we can create a side menu uh, like the one you see on screen right now and we're going to be adding some customization to it like we can hit this button to open it of course we can slowly swipe it away and it is controlled where our slide position is and we can add in these uh, items in here of course, we can select them and we haven't implemented the screen change, uh, but I do, of course, go over how to do so. And that being said, make sure you hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Get Xcode ready and let's get into it. As per usual, we're going to get started by creating a new Xcode project. We're going to stick with a single view application. And let's call this project my side menu project. Let's stick it on our desktop and get into it. So the very first thing we want to do is bring in the framework that allows us to create the side menu. And we're going to be bringing it in via CocoaPods. And I've got a separate video explaining what CocoaPods are and how to deal with them. So feel free to follow along or check out that video. So we're going to start by opening up terminal and let me zoom in here we're going to cd into this project which is on my desktop we're going to initialize coco pods with a pod in it we're going to open the newly created pod file this gets created when we initialize coco pods and we're going to add the pod for the side menu it's lowercase that p we can close text edit and let me expand this terminal window we are going to now do a pod install and you'll see a bunch of printout here. You probably won't see all of this. I've got some uh, things on my computer that I got to fix in terms of settings that I'm too lazy to do, but you should see some green stuff down here indicating success. So once you've got this done, you can hit command K and this will clear your terminal text. We can hit command W on this Xcode window because that is not the project we want anymore. If you hit LS, you'll see there is a newly created XC workspace uh, project. So we want to open that. So let's do it open project name.xc workspace. And if you're not familiar with Cocoa Pods, the workspace actually has the uh, installed pods also integrated so we can import them and use them. So let's expand our actual project and go to our view controller. Next, before we actually implement the menu, let's just select our simulator of choice and hit command R to build and run. We'll see it here. Everything should be compiling like so. The next thing we want to do is import side menu and actually implement it. So let's import this guy and we want a property for menu, which is going to be a side menu navigation controller. In the view did load function, we're just going to assign this menu to one of these controllers and it gets initialized with the root view controller. For now, we'll say the root view controller is a simple UI view controller that we initialize. And what we want to do to start off is we want to have a menu button up here. And when you tap it, we want to open up the menu. So for that tapping connection, we want to use an IB action. And we're going to say it's a function called did tap menu. And when it gets tapped, we're simply going to present the menu animated true. Let's hop on over to our main.storyboard. And I've mentioned, mentioned this in my past video, but if you hit command shift O, you can get this uh, project wide search uh, menu option thing. And it's pretty helpful with large projects. So I often use it a lot. So let's first start by selecting this controller and embedding it in a view controller via editor, embed in navigation controller. So now that this is embedded in a navigation controller, we have this bar up here. So we're going to come up here, search for a bar button item, drag it on in. Let's call this menu and let's connect this to our IB action like if I can grab it like so and let's hit command R and see what happens when we tap that button. So when we hit this button, we get this menu opening up on the right. So 
there's a couple of things we need to do. So the first thing we want to do is we want to move this menu to the left. And you can see that we can currently slide it closed once it's open, like so. But we can't actually open it if it's closed already. And then of course we actually want content in here and often it's something that shows a list of various screens in our app we can go to. So we're gonna implement that as well. So let's take care of the left side menu and the fact that we wanna be able to slide it on open. So to have this menu be on the left side, it's very simple. We can do menu dot, I believe it's left side. Yep, equals true. And to get the ability to swipe the menu open, if it's not open already, we can use the side menu manager dot default. And we wanna add a pan gesture to uh, present this menu to the current view controller's view. So this will be self dot view. So if you hit command R, you'll see when you tap on this button, the menu is now on the left and we can actually swipe the menu open if I am not mistaken. Actually, one thing we forgot to set and actually tells us down here in the console is you need to tell the manager which side the menu is on. So let me add that and then the pan gesture will work. So we wanna say the side menu manager default and we wanna say left menu navigation controller is this menu that we have up here. And now when we hit command R and build and run, you'll see there's no warnings down here. And once we start swiping, we get this really nice smooth animation of opening the menu. And of course our button still works. We can still swipe to close, et cetera, et cetera. So now how do we actually get the list of items in here? So if you're familiar with a UI table view, that's what we need to basically implement to put in here. So you noticed when we first created this menu controller, we put its root controller as a single UI view controller, like a simple class. What we wanna actually do is create a UI table view controller and stick it in there. So let's come down here and let's get rid of those spaces. Uh, let's come down here and create a class which is called menu list controller and it'll subclass a UI table view controller like so. And feel free to call this class whatever you want. We basically want to have uh, two, rather three things in here. The first thing we wanna have is an array of items, which will be something like first, second, third. Let me just copy and paste these a couple times. These will be the items in our menu. The next thing we want to implement is number of rows and we want to return the number of rows uh, which is equivalent to the things in this items array. And we also want cell for row at index path. And this is all very kind of cookie cutter boilerplate um, table view implementation. So if you're not familiar with that, take a look at my several prior videos on table views but we want to dequeue a cell in this function, which is table view, dequeue a cell with a cell reuse identifier. And we're going to say cell for index path. And let's simply just return this cell. And we also want to set the cells text label dot text to the current element in items at the given position. Before we can actually use this cell, we need to register it. And it looks like we've got an error here. So let's take a look at this code down here and fix that error. So this is complaining that item isn't a thing, which it is in fact not. It's items, plural. So let's fix that. And let's also override view did load. We want to call super view did load. And we want to register a simple cell as this table views cell. So we're going to say table view register cell class UI table view cell dot self for cell reuse identifier cell. And if you hit command B, 
you should still be compiling successfully. Let's come up here and change the root view controller to this new class that we created. So let's double click this and simply put it there. And make sure you've got the parentheses here to instantiate it. So let's hit Command R and see what we get. So when we swipe open the menu, you can see here that we have items now. So let's do a little bit of customization to make this look nicer. So we want this menu to be a dark background. So we're gonna set a couple things on it. We're gonna first say table view dot background color equals dark color. Let's create this dark color up here, which is a UI color. And we're gonna create it with RGB values. And if I'm not mistaken, 33 is like a dark gray. So we're gonna use that for all the values. Alpha will be one. And we also want the text labels uh, font color to be white so it can actually be visible on top of the dark background. And we also want the background of the cell to be dark color. Let's hit Command R and see what we get. Well, it looks like we get an error because I can't type today and this should be background color and not background view. Let's try that one more time and I still can't type today because there should be a space there. And third time's the charm. Let's open up our menu and we get a pretty nifty looking menu. So you can see that we have a basic table in here. We would select any of these actual items, nothing happens and it stays selected because we need to actually override the did select row at index path function. And we can start by unhighlighting that cell and we wanna do something which, with each selection. So we can do that in that function. The other thing you might notice is we have this white bar up here and it's actually because this side menu is a navigation controller. And what we can do is we can simply hide this bar, which a lot of folks prefer because it just makes it look slightly nicer. And we can do that up here by saying menu dot set navigation bar hidden to true animated false. Let's hit command R to see those changes. So if we, let's get rid of this. If we open this up, we see now the navigation bar is gone, but the menu still respects the safe areas. In other words, it's not hidden behind the notch up here. Um, now, of course, we can customize any of this, so we can make the text bigger, we can add cell separators, so lines below the actual um, menu items in here. And when we select it, we can see that it gets highlighted and the highlight goes away because we deselect it. So there you have it. That's how you add a menu in your app using Swift. Uh, I'll also add that you don't only have to have a left menu, you can certainly add a right menu as well. Uh, and the pan gesture to swipe it open works both ways if you add it. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please, please hit that like button down below. Helps out the video and the larger channel a lot. If you have a question or a comment or feedback, I'd love, hear, love to hear from you guys in the comments. I like to reply to all the comments uh, as best as I can. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.